crashed my car going insane, and it felt so good. I would do it again. God, nothing has changed since I last did a vlog, but I'm back. I'm back with the vlogs. I've missed. I've genuinely missed it. Genuinely, genuinely missed it. It feels. It, I felt. I felt naked this entire time. I have been naked a lot of this the rest of this trip because we've been going to the beach, um, trying to get a tan before we head back. Today we are heading back to the UK. It's the last day in Australia, and the songs are exactly the same on the radio station uh -huh. as we've just figured out. Before we actually do head back to Perth to get our flight home um, for Christmas, I got um, two vouchers from Mark and Rena for a massage. We are heading off now to go and get a. a what would be I'd essentially be like a pre-flight massage, yeah, which would be quite be... interesting to a massage before getting on a plane. Apparently, Mum said we have to drink a lot of water because it could it could work in our not favour. Oh yeah, God, yeah, because it dehydrate you know. Mm. After the massage, just go and buy two big bottles of water. <laughs> Depends how hard that is. I don't really want a hard massage. Don't think. Oh, I do. I haven't had one since Strictly. Okay, I haven't had one since probably last year. Oh, is it? Yeah. This is the town of Bunbury. And we are going in there. But we've got to find a parking space first. What are you doing? Well, I'm struggling. <laughs> it's the biggest parking space I've ever seen in my life. Know, but I've really got to get in there. You could fit a boat in there. That's actually not bad. I'm impressed with that. Mm, I feel like I am poking out. Okay. What I would do is reverse reverse park. That's so much easier. No. You are you are very much poking out here, Doc. I think now's a good time to learn how to reverse oh, reverse park. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah. People want to go. I'll just let her park. How she wants to park, guys. You don't understand how Diane parks out in Australia. I'm going to insert an image here of just just that's one example of some of the parking that she's been doing whilst we've been out here. But the verdict. Not bad. Do you know what? You get a pass. Not bad. You could fit an actual lorry in that space. But you get a pass. Well done. Now time to get rid of that stress from from the parking situation. And have a massage. Drive. Show me your show me your eyes. <laughs> oh, that was that was really intense. That I feel like I'm I feel like I died. I feel like I've actually just woke up again after a massive deep sleep. But I've got to say, I've had I've had a few massages now. Never before I met you, I never I never had a massage. I didn't think. Really? Nope. And now I've had quite a few, and I've got to say, I don't think I've ever had a massage like that. Did yeah, she Did she climb on you? No, did she climb on you? Yeah. Did she? she I, I was. She properly climbed on my back. Yeah. On the backs of my legs, the full shebang. I said at the start, she said, do you want it soft, medium or hard? And I said hard. She said, hear me go hard. I said, we'll start off with hard, see how yeah. we get on. Yeah. And Jesus Christ, it was hard. To the point where I nearly had to, I nearly had to t say, can we turn it down a little bit? Because my arse cheeks, she was like that. She had a stronger grip than my mate Jono. My Jono's, my Jono? My Jono. <laughs> But wait, Jono's got a very, very strong, like, grip, like that. Whereas I think hers was stronger than Jono's. I feel really, like, out of it. Oh, we need to get water. Get water at home. Yeah, but you have glasses bigger than a thimble at home. <laughs> when mum watches that, she's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna laugh out loud. That's a shot of water. Proper got in there, clicked all my fingers, all my toes. I heard clicking. Yeah, one, my left foot. To every toe clicked. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was very, very good. My body does feel very relaxed, but apparently now we need to drink a lot of water and maybe take a Nurofen or something. I don't know. Do we? Well, I instantly got a headache. But Did you? I See, I didn't. It's kind of gone now. But I haven't had a massage since Strictly and I feel like it, it got attention there. It was 
that intense that at one point I thought I was going to be sick. And I was like, oh, I think I'm going to have to say, can I go to the toilet? Because I need to be like to throw up. There was tissues of my back that have been kneaded out that have been tense for like years. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see how long it lasts. But um, but yeah, very, very good. Highly recommend. And it's like no nonsense either. It's like they get you in straight oh, away. Yeah, boom. They there's no mean. like, there's no um, herbal tea afterwards. No, it's like in, uh, out. <laughs> <laughs> That was one of the, the most interesting massages I've ever had in my life. But a very, very good Christmas present. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sad times to look. The tree. That's it, Christmas over. It's all over. It's all done. The show's over. Until next time. Hello. Are they both the same width? Uh, mine's a little bit smaller. Okay. We're going on an aeroplane, Sophia. We're going on an aeroplane. Hi, is this the airport transfer? Perfect. Almost left Australia without seeing the last one that had to tick off my list. Seeing the snakes, seeing the dolphins, we didn't see. You don't like spiders. Look away now. Oh, look at the size of him, mate. Rena, give me a hand quick. Oh, no. Give me a hand. <laughs> I fell asleep in the car. I have no idea where we are. We've woken up in like the, the bush. Red, red earth. But they also have kangaroos. This is possibly the most random thing for kids to play with at a play area. But we'll go with that. You having fun? Not bad. You having fun, having fun cooking those rocks? Yeah. <laughs> and the leaves in the sand? Well, we're no longer in Bunbury anymore. It feels surreal to be here now. I haven't seen buildings this big in ages. <laughs> it's been used to the mouse building. It's the biggest building in Bunbury. Now look at the size of that. We've arrived at Nando's. Apparently, Nando's in Australia is all completely different menu as well. So nothing's the same as the UK. It smells like English, like Nando's. I've got to say it. This is, I think, the nicest park. Purely because of this view. Like the grass, how nice the grass is cut, but also how nice the view is. Although, ah! I'm getting chased. I'm getting chased. Look, where else in the world, let me know if you find somewhere, where there's a park where you overlook, you're up high, like a park of a hill like this, and you look out and you see like the whole city. So nice, I do love her. Look at it. Oh my God, that is Vice City vibes. Three, two, one, and we have lift out, uh, sorry, touchdown. Is it a water plane then? Yeah. Another one. And this right here is the Queen's tree. Is that right, Mark? Oh, yeah, is, it? is that right, Mel? Uh, uh, introduce the one behind it. Uh, one of the them Queen's tree. Oh, is one an oak tree? Is that the oak tree? No. There, there is a park where it's in the Queen's tree. I feel like that's an oak tree there, is it? So that was it when it was first planted. And this is it now. This here. It's an oak tree, a genuine legit. I've not seen one of these in a long time, it feels like, but that, if I'm not mistaken, that is an oak tree leaf. This is one of the only oak trees, I think in Perth or WA, or maybe even Australia, I don't know. Let me know if I'm right or wrong in that. But this is an oak tree. Just me fanboying over oak trees, <laughs> like a loser. Oh, stop, Rena. No, sk no skateboarding. Where's your skateboard? Turns out this park is bigger than we thought because we are officially lost. Any ideas? No. Oh, maybe down there? Oh, let's go down again. I feel like if we keep going, keep going this, this way. way, yeah. We're back. And we can tell because we can see a wild sleeping mark. It's coming back. A bit of roadkill stuck to that guy's antenna on his car. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, you win this time. 
But next time I come to Australia, I'm going to beat you in the tug of war contest, okay? You want to go again, do you? Yes! I won! Yes! Mine. Oh, is it yours? I took on mine. Oh, okay. Well, it's yours. Well, Toto's going home now. Toto's flying no. away. Yeah. No. Oh, no, I'm flying home. <laughs> and so is Auntie Dot. Auntie uh, Dot's going uh, home. Auntie Dot's going home uh, too. Uh, flying uh, home. Are you going to give us a cuddle before we go? Can you going to give us a cuddle? Before we go? No? Cuddle? Oh. And a big kiss. I'm gonna miss ya. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. I give Auntie Dot a cuddle. Oh, any kiss? Mm, I love you. I told you. Oh, and another oh, one another for Toto. One. Oh, oh, and a kiss for Toto. Oh. And a smack on the bottom for Auntie Dot. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> oh. Time to say goodbye Sophia, what are we gonna do to Andrew, today? Mel, Sophia. Next time we see you guys, you'll be a family of four. We will. Oh. Oh my God. Very, very exciting. Yay. Gonna <gasps> You're gonna be brother. a big sister. What is it gonna be? Sister or what is it gonna be? Sister or brother? Baby. 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 It's gonna be a baby. What's it gonna be called? Cool? Oh. <laughs> Don't forget your spoon, Dot. Yeah. Oh, bye, see ya. Good to see ya. It's been good having you here. Yeah. Baby. Bye, Mel. Bye, Goodbye. Oh, bye, bye. Oh. Goodbye. See you soon. Oh. Take care. You're gonna miss your, your friends? Don't worry, I'll send mummy and daddy a new oh. shusha so you still have yours. Yeah. Right. Oh, Onwards Bye. to the airport. Bye, Bye Raina. No worries. Now, what do you got to do? Okay. You'll be good. You Thank you. So, um, practice the roast potatoes, roast potatoes okay. because at Christmas time, you're doing the roast potatoes, okay, not me. Done. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. <laughs> Give us a little beat. Oh, little yeah. beat. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Oh, he went so quick because he was getting upset. Oh. Ah, domestic departures. We're in the wrong place. International departures. Open. Oh, out of, <laughs> out of service. Oh. Right, this is it. Off we go. Flight one of two. Got a little Christmas pillow. Look. <laughs> little diptyque uh, box with this flight, which includes some lotion, some face cream. Uh, lip balm, eau de toilette, I believe, socks or eye mask and earplugs. No earplugs? Oh, the earplugs in there, I reckon. Permitted for takeoff and landing, and such devices must remain switched <laughs> off until advised by Cathy. This is a bit weird. <laughs> Does this mean I should get free flights? <laughs> Can I have free flights, please? How has that happened? Oh my god, Doha that Airport. Is that? that is insane. We're in an airport right now. Yeah. <laughs> what? This airport is officially something else. A we, we were in quite a rush to get our flight, connecting flight last time. Um, but I've got to say, this is nuts, isn't it? I love it. It's insane. This airport, you could live in this airport. This airport is literally like a city. Like a city. But look at this. I feel like, I feel like we're in the future. Have you never been on a train in airport? No, I have, but not one that looks like that fancy. That's like the Tesla of airport trains. Between what? Um, should we get on the train just for the jokes? Can do, yeah, let's if you want. Yeah, the train. Want to get the train? Yeah. The Tesla train. The Tesla train. Ooh. Look at this. Please stand clear, the doors are closing. London tube. Take note. I wish the tube was that quiet. Oh no, she's beating me. She's beating me. No, 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 no. What? That is a play area for kids. But I want to go because that looks so cool. You just know that was 100% designed by like a an artist or yeah, someone. Yeah, that's so cool. Damn. I messaged mum and dad. 
Yeah. Dad's just had his first Reiki session. Has he? Yeah, he loved it. <gasps> oh. Watches, but also, look at that Porsche. Oh. Damn. The only thing is, with this airport being so big, it's easy to get lost. So we thought we went to the right lounge, but turns out it's not the right lounge. Uh, so she directed us to the right lounge, and the lady said, when you get to the giant teddy bear, uh, go straight, or is it left? Go straight up. Go straight, and then go past the Hamleys and go up. But we've got to try and find the big teddy bear first. How hard can it be? Right, Dot. I think I found the giant teddy bear. We've made it into the lounge, and my God. It's something else. It's pretty small, I don't know if we'll get a seat. <laughs> Look at the size of it. They've even got a games room. Of all the people in this airport, how is no one playing on the PS5? Well, that was the shortest trip in the business lounge because our gate's already been called and I'm gutted because they had showers and I love having a shower on a connecting, before a connecting flight. So I'm a little bit gutted about that, but instead I'll be stinky on the next flight. Right, B1. Well, turns out <laughs> we get to the gate and the guy's like, no, you've got loads of time. You're not bored until 6.55. But it says on the board that we're boarding now, so it's a bit confusing. Should um, I? But he was like, yeah, go have a coffee, go go for a walk. It's like, yeah, we're going for a walk in this place. It could take us four days to get back. So for me, I'm the sort of person at an airport likes to be there. If the gate's called, I want to be there. You know, I'm very, very punctual at airports. So this is going to give me anxiety, being in an airport this big. And the fact it's saying boarding, and there's no <laughs> announcements as well in the lounge. There's no, there's no announcements. Like, no announcements. I was like, sorry. Which is not what I want. I like to be known when told when when I can and can't go. So, um, oh, I'm you're so cute. I'm, you my back, you, you my back doesn't. Just love going B1. <laughs> <where's> <laughs> my back. B1. My back doesn't normally sweat. My back's sweating. Okay, this means this is the sign. I need to go and see how much that puffer vest is. Oh, Diane's seen it as a sign because she was like, look, it's a sign because I've been eyeing up this certain coat. So maybe we should go back and have a look at how much it is. This is the coat in question. That puffer jacket there. I reckon it's gonna be about, I reckon it's me. I reckon you'll find out how much it is and go, nope. I was banging on with the guests as well for how much it would cost. I was actually banging on, oh, should I get one to match? Should we get <laughs> right, and the verdict was? Nah. <laughs> she passed. I thought she might when she found out how much it was. We've got 30 minutes. I'm going to have my shower, have a poo, and then um, that'll probably be it. Time to get the next flight. So unfortunately, the shower situation, the shower was full. There was no spots left for showering. This close to our flight time anyway. Um, but did manage to brush my teeth um, and feel up very much more refreshed now for this next flight because time-wise, body clock-wise, we now need to stay awake. We might sleep a little bit to start with, then we've yeah. got to stay awake for the rest of the day. And here we go, flight two of two. Is there any Managed Wait, to find them. So it is chaos here. <laughs> London is chaos. It's a bit different to yeah. To be fair though, bags are out pretty quick. Yeah, so quick they put them all in here in a in a row. And but actually, now's a now's the traffic jam of a maze to get out. Yeah. You spotted something, what is it? Oh my god. I'm number one. What? Go on, Dot. Look at you. Well, come home to the UK and find out your girlfriend's the number one fitness influencer in the UK. Not bad, is it? <laughs> yeah, go on, you can run home. You can just... Give me those cases. Yeah. Up. I'll hold them up like this. I want you to lunge the whole way to the pickup point. I want you to push this bus back when the bus gets here. <laughs> oh my word. It's raining. <laughs> I quite like it. Quite confident. Comforting, yeah. isn't it? That's it been is. raining so long, but it is raining. The heavens have opened for our arrival. We're, back, we're officially back in England. We're going to make soup. I think, I think so. Am I talking really loud? Oh, and after what feels like 
a very, very long journey, we're home. We are home. Anyway, we're trying to stay awake right now. Oh, it's a struggle. It really is. It's just all of a sudden hit us out of nowhere. And I feel like, because I'm the one going, oh yeah, it's so much easier on the way home. I kind of feel like, do you know what? Because we, unpa we unpacked soon. our suitcases and that, like, keeping moving helps us. Um, but uh, I was getting to a point where if I stop and sit down, it feels like it's like 4 a.m. Yeah. And like my, I blink slower when yeah. I'm tired. Yeah, I feel a little bit nauseous. But we've got some food on the way. I that feel, might help. Yeah, I don't, because you know when you're either really, really hungry or you feel nauseous? Yeah. That It's that feeling. Uh, yeah. Like, so I'm hopefully sure. we've ordered some food. We're going to go out to, and do a food shop, but uh, we just didn't get around to doing it. By the time we unpacked and stuff, it was just too late. So we've ordered some food um, and hopefully that's going to help. Food's arrived. We've ordered from a pub down the road. And the good thing about ordering from the pub down the road is that the food comes nice and hot still. Even on a rainy day like today, I've gone for a burger that's purely a because... It came with an entire pickle. Look at that. And you got fries. And I got fries. And I got big chips. Big chips. Mm. You know what? I reckon this may just hit the spot and save the jet lag. Ready to quit? Yay! Done it! Definitely not walking away. <laughs> now we're back home. We can actually open some of our presents that were left for us before we before we went to Australia, which are presents from my nan. Thank you, nan. We're opening them now. <laughs> oh, this one's a bit of a candle. Oh, beautiful. Cherry blossom. Oh, is that a three wicker? Oh, it's a three wicker. Also, we just had this through from my auntie and uncle. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a, you pick your scent oh, that's and then you have it turn into a candle. Salt works per perfume for body and home. Also, got some lovely coasters. Oh. Thank you, Nan. Which also would go so nice with this table, look. Yeah. Love that. And then in here, we've got a bloody frog. <laughs> For the garden. And my auntie is an artist using, I think, chalk or pastel, which is an amazing um, oil pastel artist and chalks and other various mediums. But I will leave, actually, you know what, I'll leave a link. I'm sure she's got an Instagram or something. So if I find it, I will leave a link in the description where you can go and see some of her pieces that she's done. And then my Nan also got me this gin roku gin japanese crafted gin i've never tried japanese gin before so i'm actually very excited to try this although i will not be trying although i'll not be trying it now because i can barely keep my eyes open it is it must be like what seven o'clock now quarter to seven it's not even seven yet no. oh and you know what? it doesn't help that it gets dark so early here as well i think if we can stay awake till 7 30 then that's good Gonna have a shower. And cut to Joe Sug, wide awake at 6.25 in the morning, which you'd think, actually, that's not bad. Good sleep, Joe. Turns out, no, I woke up at two wide awake. Went back to sleep, woke up at then 4.50 wide awake, me and Diane both wide awake. And we were like, should we just get up? So we've been awake since 4.50. Um, and what's weird is to come home and see this. Your own reflection in the glass because it is so dark outside it's still pitch black welcome back to gloomy uk we've got a day of shite weather again i think hello what are you doing oh god we've got neighbors you know you're doing office work at, yeah, I feel like I at 6 a.m anything up for like you've so got long. so many packages and just general bits and bobs like, of life admin to get through yes i forgot about it I hope it's a bar of gold. No, I forgot about this. And not an animal, because if it is, it's been dead for about three months. Please be gold, 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 please be gold. Please be gold. Oh. I'm very excited for that. Hashtag gifted. This is your favourite stuff. It's, this, it's the only dry shampoo I use. It smells like tropical. I'm going to straight into your nose then. Whoa! My resolution for 2024 is to get sent some cool stuff like Diane does. But anyway, I'm going to end today's vlog there. You know what? I've also not checked. Is Dad still here? Grimbo! Grambo's not here. Grambo actually left before 
we flew back yesterday. Um, unfortunately, because he had because he, he had to drive a long way away, he drove back before it got dark. And as we were traveling back, it's already starting to get dark. So, missed Grambo, didn't see him, but he's left the house, spick and span. Thank you very much, Grambo. I will see you again tomorrow with a new vlog. Take care. Goodbye.